everyone and welcome back to Junk Jody. Today I'm going to be telling the story of Mayfly Day by Jean Willis and Tony Ross. This is a bittersweet story and when I say bitter I mean because Mayfly only lives for one day. But the sweetness is in how Mayfly chooses to live her life in that one day. She makes the most of it, celebrating every second she is blessed to be alive. She doesn't worry about the future or the past. She is totally present in the moment, learning as much as she can. She gives thanks for the one day she gets to spend life on earth. There is such a powerful meaning behind this book and one I love. It's full of mindfulness. And I wanted to tell this story in a way my imagination first visualised it when it was told to me in my own Junk Judy arts and crafts kind of way. I will also be sharing pictures from the book as they are so pretty. I hope you like it. Let's begin. Mayfly Day by Jean Willis and Tony Ross. Here is Mayfly. It is her first day on Earth. It is also her last. Mayflies only live for one day. But is she dead? Not at all. She is happy to be alive. This isn't any old day. This is the best of days. She lives for each moment. She sees the world begin. She hears the crack of dawn and bathes in its golden glow. A billion buds burst open, all for her. She tastes their honey. Mayfly sees eggs hatch, babies born, <laughs> lambs learning to stand, the business of ants, the dizziness <laughs> of children, the loveliness of things. She feels the sun's warm hug, the kiss of summer rain, the magic of the rainbow. It is her wedding day. Trees throw confetti, there are games on the lawn. Breezes blow, bells chime, birds sing. She dances to the music of the universe. Mayfly lays her eggs. It is a peaceful night, the best of nights. She makes one last wish. Little ones, may all your tomorrows be as perfect as my yesterdays. Mayfly watches the moon come up and the stars go out and is thankful for a wonderful life. And there we have it everyone. The story of Mayfly Day by Jean Willis and Tony Ross. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please like and click subscribe and comment below, as I would love to know your thoughts on this book. How did it make you feel? Did it make you feel happy or sad or both? I would love to know your thoughts. I will be also sharing more stories on mindfulness soon, so stay tuned. Bye everyone!